What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And uh, Elon Musk has quietly been uh, striking back in his own way, uh, whether it's bringing on <clears throat> publicly hiring a, a strong legal team or uh, his direct tweets for the past couple of days. It's starting to look, I know this is probably shocking to a lot of people who aren't in the know, who aren't beautiful, wonderful people who watch my videos. Uh, it's starting to look like this whole complaint about him was 100% baloney sausage, including having uh, the CEO of Tesla pen a letter defending him, uh, essentially saying, like, this literally couldn't have happened. Uh, and the media, of course, is not covering it. You can only find it on a few random websites. But you see this SpaceX CEO defends Elon Musk against the allegations. South African billionaire Elon Musk goes from controversy to controversy, and one of the latest disputes has been as involved in a SpaceX flight attendant. The worker revealed a week ago that she had sued Elon, and the two sides reportedly reached some sort of settlement. Well, actually, I don't know if the worker revealed it. It was their friend of a friend, right? Their friend went to, like, Business Insider or something like that and sold him the story. The incident allegedly happened in 2016, Went on a flight to London. The flight attendant was called to serve uh, Musk in the form of a full body massage. Apparently, when she entered, he was ready to go and uh, uh, offered to buy her a horse if she would uh, go a little bit further. Now, one of the people supporting the South African is precisely the president of SpaceX company, Gwen Sh uh, Shadwell, who considered the accusation false based on her experience. Personally, I believe the allegations are false, not because I work for Elon, but because I've worked very closely with him for 20 years and I have never seen or heard anything resembling these type of allegations. Wasn't that a coincidence? You know, it's like, where, where, are, where are the articles about this? You know, if I look up Elon Musk, okay, and I Google him, I look at the news, uh, you, you finally see later today, uh, the Verge covering it. Let's see how The Verge covered it 19 hours ago. SpaceX's Gwen uh, defends Elon Musk after claims. Uh, so she wrote, personally, I believe them to be false, not because I work for him, but because I have worked closely with him for 20 years. She wrote an email. Anyone who knows Elon, like I do, knows he would never conduct or condone this type of inappropriate behavior. Last week, Business Insider, behind a paywall, uh, published a report claiming that he had a former flight attendant uh, and had to pay her $250,000 in settlement money or a severance package after she quit. Musk has since denied the claims, though, uh, through, though he told Insider that there's a lot more to the story while also calling the article a politically motivated hit piece. Well, it was. If I were inclined to engage in this type of behavior, this, would, this is unlikely to be the first time in my entire 30-year career that it comes to light, Musk told Business Insider. In her email to the company employees titled The Recent News Story, the CEO argued that every accusation is taken very seriously, regardless of who's involved, and the SpaceX HR investigates all the claims it receives. She did not mention the alleged $250,000 payment. For privacy reasons, I will never comment on any legal matter involving employment issues. SpaceX has a no a-hole policy when it comes to employee behavior. However, in December, a former SpaceX employee wrote an essay in Lioness, alleging she had been the target of mean words at the company and HR did little to address the claims. The Verge also spoke with four additional SpaceX employees who backed up the essay and described the culture of the culture of harassment that was poorly handled by HR. Hey, maybe that's true. I don't know because... You know, what do people even define as, as harassment these days? You know, I don't know. I can't, I can't directly refute this story, but it sure is interesting. And then you see Elon um, Sawyer, uh, Sawyer Merritt writes, SpaceX's CEO defends Elon, to which Elon replied, astute observers of my plane, and there are many, will note that I don't use a flight attendant. Moreover, only fruit and nuts are stocked on the plane. I use flights as an opportunity to fast. Interesting. So, like, there are definitely holes in the story. And, of course, 
you know, you see, what do you do on the plane? Also, do you have Starlink on the plane with you? He says he works. Yes, I am testing Starlink on the plane. Some polishing is needed, but it's working quite well. Well, yeah, the, the high speed at which the plane travels makes it more difficult uh, to use a SpaceX, you know, satellite as you're going through that. But I mean, the, the idea that uh, then who is this? This is Richard Branson, I believe. Um, so it, it's it's interesting to hear that, that, oh, wait, uh, nothing. Nothing going on. Doesn't seem like it, right? It seems like an awfully bold statement to make for somebody uh, if they didn't have the truth on their side. Now, why is all this happening? Well, of course, as New York Post accurately points out, the left targets Elon Musk because he will not conform to liberal orthodoxy. Ever since he announced his attention to buy Twitter, he has faced a barrage of serious attacks. A hit piece in the New York Times this month sought to tie Musk to apartheid in South Africa, despite Musk having left the country when he was younger. The Times got one expert to contend that the country's lack of free exchange of ideas protected South Africans from the consequences of misinformation. When you've reached this point of arguing that South Africa's censorship was actually good, you might have gone too far. Joy Reid, who regularly says crazy things on TV as the host of MSNBC's The Read Out, hit a similar line, saying that Musk misses the old South Africa in the 80s and wants that back, you know, based on nothing. Now there's a story about this old harassment allegation brought forth, not by the actual accuser, but by a friend who claims to have knowledge of the incident. Musk categorically, categorically denied the incident. He tweeted, the attacks against me should be viewed through a political lens. Everyone knows it won't stop here. Musk has does something unacceptable to the left and its media friends, and now they will seek to punish him. In another time, Musk would be solidly on the left and a champion of liberals everywhere. He popularized the electric car. He is co committed to donating a majority of his wealth. He calls climate change the biggest threat the humanity faces in this century, except for AI. But we're in an age of great conformity, and Musk has stepped outside the acceptable lines the left has drawn for all of us. He engages with people across the political spectrum. He's having fun without making a speech about progressive values every two seconds. He believes in real free speech. He dares to say that President Donald Trump should be reinstated on Twitter. Of course. I mean, we know that this is why the man gets attacked. And, you know, he's awfully quiet for a couple of days. Uh, you know, it's interesting. Some people are noticing that the person who owns this plane doesn't use a flight attendant and that there only is fruit and nuts stocked on the plane. They, they think this person is using flight time to f fast. I don't, oh, that's what Bob is here to explain. I get it automated. That's a weird bot. That's a weird bot. Um, Elon took pretty much all of yesterday off of Twitter um, today, except to, you know, refer to birth rates, which are far too low in this country, in the United States anyway. Um, you can look at countries like Japan, which are at like a negative birth rate. Um, you know, and it's, it's interesting to see just how the machine is happy to go completely mask off and, um, just do it right out in front of all of us. You know, how many people... Uh, how many of these Twitter employees got caught red-handed? You know, you have these Twitter engineers getting caught by PV. Last week, Tesla somehow lost a spot on the S&P 500's ESG index, which calculates the environmental, social, and government standards. Musk fired back that the rating had lost its integrity and noted that ExxonMobil is rated top 10 best in the world, social governance ESG by the S&P 500, while Tesla didn't even make the list. In January 2020, Trump told CNBC, I was worried about Elon because he's one of our great geniuses and we have to protect our geniuses. He was right, but maybe in the future he'll be able to say it on Twitter. Well, you know, the whole thing about Trump, com Trump coming back to Twitter, I mean, of course he's going to come back. The, the stuff with Elon is really bizarre <clears throat> because it's so it's been so predictable and it just happens like right out in the open and nobody really has anything to say about it. Like... We see it happening, and as as regular everyday people, it's like impossible to stop. You know, it's like, oh, we saw this coming. We saw even he predicted the hit pieces were coming. Now maybe he did have some advanced knowledge about it, but like 
even he knew that they were coming and he couldn't stop them from from getting released um the tesla stock is is taking a beating uh if i'm looking now a down again another seven percent today um down 15 percent on the week it's down 112 dollars a share this is an 11 month low uh and what's interesting is there's a lot of reasons why um you know tesla stock loses tesla stock Loss is top 575 billion as investors' patience wears thin with Elon Musk's Twitter circus show. I mean, people don't want him to be, you know, I don't know. I, I don't think people are like in pulling their money out of Tesla because they, they don't want him to buy Twitter unless that is the case. And they're just like literally making bad investments because to own the man. But, um, this is some serious losses. I mean, 575 billion. Um, I'm sure there are other reasons for this because it was an 11 month low and he wasn't, he hasn't been quote unquote buying Twitter for the last 11 months. Um, but it's, it's something to watch, something to watch. Maybe there's something be going on beyond this behind the scenes that, you know, we can't really understand. Make sure you lock it in here by hitting that subscribe button down below. I'll continue to bring all the news throughout the day for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.